Yo, what's going on guys? Kevin Pack here. Welcome to today's new video. And today we're gonna be going over how you can start making $100 a day on Amazon FBA. So we all know that making money on Amazon is something that you can do, it's definitely possible. And also it can be either done as a side hustle or you can turn it into a full-time thing like I have, right? And of course, I'm gonna show you guys some proof of my own sales and my own business account. So I'm pull this up really quick. And you, can, you guys can see right here in the last 12 months, I've done half a million dollars on my account so far. So I and a lot of my other students are living proof that you can make money on Amazon for sure. But some people don't want to make this like a full-time thing and some people want to just make sure that they know that it works, right? And so I don't want to show you how you can make $10,000 a month, although you can. I want to show you how you can simply make $100 a day or $3,000 a month, which is still great money for anybody who wants to make extra money, right? $3,000 can pay for a lot of things, can help with your rent, food, groceries, you can make a full-time living with basically $3,000, $4,000 a month, right? So I wanna break it down for you guys and really show you how you can do this and what it's gonna take, a front investment, some key points, what is it realistically gonna look like and really break down the numbers so you guys have a clear understanding of what it would take for this $100 per day mark. So we're gonna dive into my computer real quick and we are gonna see all the layout of it and how this all works. All right, so here we are on my computer. I got a nice little Excel sheet for you guys just to break it down for you. Our goal is to make $100 per day and we wanna figure out how are we gonna do that, what kind of products are we gonna be looking for, et cetera, right? So today I'm gonna to be using a product that is gonna be selling for $35 and we can always use anything else that's like $20, $50, $100, it doesn't really matter. I'm a big believer that there's opportunity for all price ranges. I know a lot of people will wanna say like, hey, you gotta to stick to products that are like $15, you know, $20 because they're less expensive to start. Personally for me, the more expensive a product is or the less expensive it is, it comes out to be the same anyways. If a product is $4, they're probably gonna require you to order a thousand units, right, for MLQ. But if the product is $40, they most likely will only ask you to order a hundred units for their MLQ. So it comes up to being the same anyways. It's just the amount that you spend with your supplier is probably the one that's more consistent and the same. And typically it's gonna be between at least $2,000 to $5,000 for your first order, at least at the bare minimum, right? So we're using a $35 price point. It's a kind of a mid-tier kind of price point Point, and then we're gonna be including Amazon fees, the product costs, what the profits are gonna look like, etc. right? So let's go down, let's break it down first. Let's say you're gonna order a product that's selling on the market on average for $35. And you go to your supplier, you're gonna order 540 units of this, which would might be about two months worth of inventory depending how well you, you sell, right? We're gonna assume that we're predicting and want our goal to be selling about nine units per day. So if you do the math for 60 days, it'll come out to about 540. And uh, we're gonna look into the cost of the product as well. Cost of the product is $9. This is including shipping as well. So we're gonna include that in there. $9 is pretty realistic for a product that's selling for $35, uh, $9 out the door. So the cost of that, if we order 540 units, is gonna cost us about $4,800. And we're also going to have $1,000 for miscellaneous things such as inspections, photography, videography, listings, et cetera, like that. So that's probably gonna cost you about $1,000 give or take. So your upfront investment is probably going to be about $5,800, maybe $6,000, again, give or take, right? So that's what we're going to be working with upfront. Realistically, this is a pretty solid, like most of my launches have cost about this much, about five to $6,000, right? Now, so we're selling it and we're launching and we're selling it around $35. The Amazon fees is gonna be about 30%, 32% give or take um, of the price, the total price of your product that you're selling for. And that's including referral fees and fulfillment fees. Again, our cost of the product is $9. So after Amazon fees and the cost of the product, we should have about $14 profit per unit. And this is before advertising, right? So let's say that we're, our goal is to sell nine a day. If we sell nine a day, we're gonna start making making $133 per day. Again, before PPC, we're gonna include PPC at the end. So our daily profit is about $133 and our monthly profit after 30 days is going to be about almost $4,000. But then we do need to include PPC because our PPC advertising spend is how we're gonna launch our product to even get those nine sales in the first place. So a budget of about $30 a day or $900 a month is gonna be realistic. Again, 
give or take, these are give or take numbers. And you could end up after PPC profit out the door, pure profit afterwards, you could have $3,000 in your first 30 days, your first month. But remember, we bought two months worth of inventory, okay? And when you get paid from Amazon, you're getting paid for your profit plus the money of the cost of the product as well back. So your first 30 days, you're gonna get back about $5,400, which is almost our upfront investment. And then after 60 days, you're going to have almost $11,000 from a almost $6,000 investment, okay? So that's basically like 100% ROA at least, right? So that's gonna be a realistic goal about how you do it. And this is not a lot of units. This is nine units, okay? Nine units is not, nine people is not a lot. If you have a product where people are searching for this particular product, you know, 10,000 times a month, nine units is not gonna be the hard thing, okay? So that's the realistic case. And then of course you have to consider reordering your product. So you're not gonna pocket this immediately. Since you have two months worth of inventory, once you go through probably the first couple weeks of your inventory, you're actually gonna need to make a reorder on your inventory. So you're gonna need to put like 30% down, probably for the same amount of units for about 540. So you need to fork up another about $6,000 but again, you don't have to pay $6,000 up front. You could put 30 days, um, I'm sorry, 30% shipping terms and then 70% afterwards. So pay 30% up front, 70% after. So if we do that, you'll probably pay about $1,800, $2,000 upfront for your deposit. And then about 30 days later, you can pay the rest of it before it ships out. And you should have money back by Amazon by that point uh, to be able to do that. So you wanna keep that in mind. You do wanna have some wiggle room. That's why I say like, you guys gotta have more of an investment to start Amazon FBA because you wanna have cushion room and flexibility because if your product does do well, you wanna have enough money to make a reorder, okay? So I always say, you gotta make sure that you, you have enough for that cushion room, all right? And so that by the time you make your second order near the end of the first month, your inventory is gonna come in and then you'll be running out of stock, but then your inventory is already in. So now you, you're gonna stay in stock and keep making sales, and then you'll be able to cash flow from that, right? And so the goal from there, when you continue to see, when you have a predictable amount of reorders, then it's just kind of like automatic at that point. So you reorder every two, three months, you order the same amount, you always have the same amount of money that you're coming in and coming out. It's that first like three to four month period that's really tricky because you wanna manage your cash flow. You wanna make sure that you have enough cash to reorder, but then you're getting money back and making sales as well so if on average you're making nine sales a day you know obviously we want some days are gonna be at like three some days will probably be at like 12 it'll average out to be about nine uh per day in 30 days that is the ultimate goal and you could end up making about three thousand dollars profit every single month and if it's predictable like i said it's nothing like high seasoned or anything like that if it's predictable throughout the entire year that's money you can actually pocket because you know you only need a certain amount after re every reorder now if you want to grow your business your amazon business and launch more products you will need to take some of that profit and actually reinvest it into more products right that's how the game works so if you want to grow faster you're probably going to have to reinvest a lot of money for your first year or so okay now i want to go over some points that will be very very helpful for you achieving this kind of number or this kind of product that would do well okay so some key points low competition markets okay and what I mean by that is making sure that you're going to markets that have room for you as a new seller. You got to remember most people are going to be new sellers in here. Even if you're an experienced seller, you're going to want to still stick into these low competitive markets because they're just easier to get into, right? Since you're a new seller, you're still getting into it. Even if you know everything, you, you get everything step by step by a professional seller and everything, you still have to go through those growing pains because you're still experiencing it for the first time. So you won't always get it perfectly. Uh, so if you try to do that in a very competitive market, Market, you're gonna lose a lot of money. But if you go into a low competitive market, it's gonna be a lot easier to get into that and you won't be wasting as much money. So low competitive markets are markets where they're not making all like $20,000, $50,000 a month, right? Maybe like at the bare minimum, they're making maybe three, $4,000 a month, right? That's at the low end and the top end, maybe it's like 50,000. So you have ranges of potential. From there, you can see, okay, worst case scenario, maybe I'm making 3,000, but best case scenario, I could make 50,000, right? So you have your ranges. And then obviously the review count isn't crazy. You wanna make sure that you're seeing plenty of people making at least that 3,000, 4,000, $5,000 mark with low reviews, you know, under 200, under 150, around that range. Um, so that gives you more proof and validation that you can go into this and do well as well, right? Uh, the next point is unique selling points. 
line. That's what USP stands for. So you need to give your customers a reason to buy your product. What is your unique selling point? What is your reason people should buy yours? What is the reason you're differentiating to other key people? I know the word differentiation is like thrown around Amazon FBA like all the time, but people are just like, what does that even mean? Like differentiation, like I know I need to make the product different, but what do you do to make it different? So just think about what is your unique selling point? There are a few ways to differentiate a product. You can bundle it with something, aesthetics, change the quality, functionality, et cetera. You wanna make sure you list all those things and know which ones you're gonna target as far as your way of differentiation. So again, you gotta give your customers a reason to buy your product. Uh, the next point is your listing. So your listing needs to be on point. You need to have amazing photos. You have to have good copyright to make sure your title is on point and your bullets on point because that is what people people are gonna list or um, be reading, right? So people are gonna click on your photo, click on your product listing, but they wanna read everything else and they want it to be convincing. So make sure you have a good listing, you have somebody who's going to be able to build that for you, who's a professional at it, and you have professionals working on your photo. You can't just take you know iPhone photo of your product and think it's gonna sell well because people are gonna think it's cheap, people that are not gonna trust it, uh, they're gonna think like it's some like janky eBay product, like no. So you wanna have high professional products so you know that they're coming across as professional um, and that you mean business, right? So listing is super important. People cannot touch or feel your product so you need to show them through images. The next one is PPC. Okay, so PPC is pay-per-click advertising which is what we were talking about earlier up here. And your PPC is gonna be something you need to learn and you need to understand what is the best strategy for you, for your product. You will need to know how to launch your product. You need to know how to optimize because PPC is, is simple but complex at the same time. So you need to understand how that works. And again, it's important to have somebody who actually has done it before, who's familiar with ins and outs of PPC to help guide you in that direction, okay? And lastly is cash flow. Uh, we talked about this a little bit earlier, how you need to have enough money to make reorders. And that's one of the most important things is cash flow. You need to have enough money running through the business because that's how it stays alive. It's such an intense cash flow intensive business because you have to pay for inventory up front before you start making the sales, right? Uh, so it's important that you always have cash on reserve. You're reinvesting your profits and making sure that each sell you make uh, is profitable and that you're managing your PPC to be more profitable, right? So cash flow is super, super important and it's a way that keeps your business alive. Cash flow is king. So those are the points that are very helpful for you succeeding on Amazon. And that's how you start making $100 per day on Amazon. It's not super complex. It's not a complicated business model. It's very simple, very easy to break down. It's supply and it's demand. It's very simple, but it's about the execution that's the hardest part for people. It's just, just doing it, right? Just doing it, going through the process and remembering how to do everything step by step. That's the complicated part. That's what people uh, kind of look over, right? But if you guys want something where you have something much more step by step, where it becomes less complicated, and more understanding, I do have a mentorship program that helps you get everything step by step with Amazon FBA with me helping you personally. So that's pretty damn awesome, right? Getting knowledge and guidance from an, uh, an experienced Amazon seller like myself. So link in description when you guys want to check that out. And uh, yeah, this is what exactly what I teach my students. I teach them exactly how to start making $100 per day profit and everything. So these are all realistic goals that you guys can have, but it's about the execution. And it's not that the business model works or it doesn't work, it's about the execution. But yeah, that's the end of this video. I hope you guys found this pretty insightful, pretty helpful and easy to break down for you guys to understand. Like this video because it helps so, so much. Subscribe for more content. And uh, I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thank you. And I will see you guys in the next one. As always, go make that money and take care. Peace.